Hi, I'm Annie. Contact information is in the description. Are you self-disciplined? That is my question for you. And I have a favor to ask. I have a 21 question survey. It's a Google form. It takes about 10 minutes to fill out. I'm gathering research on self-discipline. Just want to fully understand details about how people struggle with self-discipline. How does it show up in your life? How does it make you feel? How do you manage self-discipline? That sort of thing. It's an anonymous survey. No contact information required. I'll I'll put a link to that survey in the description. Now, recently, I did a similar survey about pessimism, and I want to say thank you to everyone who participated in filling out that survey. Well, I've been aggregating all the data from the responses to the pessimism survey, and I'm seeing some patterns emerge. First thing being that people do not resonate with that word pessimism for one reason or another. Some people don't consider themselves pessimistic, or they are pessimistic, but it's sort of a point of pride. They're attached to the pessimism and don't have any intention of letting go of it. But from aggregating the data on the pessimism survey, I saw some really interesting patterns arise. Well, first of all, everyone has limiting beliefs, whether you call it pessimism or not. Almost everybody has some kind of limiting belief that holds them back from achieving what they're trying to accomplish. But one of the things people mentioned over and over again was this idea of self-discipline, the idea of inner congruence and alignment, and just how painful it is when we're lacking self-discipline discipline and we're not showing up to do the things that we said we were going to do. So we have all these big hopes and dreams in our hearts, these things that we really want to accomplish, but sometimes our thoughts and our actions are not aligned with what we really want. And it's frustrating because the same patterns repeat over and over again. You say you want to do these things, you want to have these habits in place so that you can accomplish your goal, and then maybe you do it for a little while and then you slip out of the routine of following through on those habits. And that pattern can repeat over and over again for people. And many people find that to be really painful because self-discipline is really about your relationship with yourself. It's about cultivating trust with yourself that you will show up and follow through and do the things that you said you would do and the things that you said you wanted to do. So lack of self-discipline can be very painful for many people. That's what I noticed as I was aggregating all this data. That discovery sort of took me in a different direction because I was focused on learning more about pessimism and how people struggle with pessimism and I found that doesn't really resonate with people at all. But this idea of self-discipline and congruency and alignment and showing up to do the things we said we were going to do to achieve achieve our goals and aim for the things that we truly want for ourselves. That was such a strong theme. And when I really think about it, most coaching clients who have come to me in the last two years have come to me to develop self-discipline. So it's really kind of obvious that that's a really potent issue for people. I love self-discipline. I really geek out on it. It feels good to build self-discipline, you know, for myself. So much so that to me it can feel kind of obvious at times. I think that's why I went down this other path of wanting to study pessimism because self-discipline was so obvious. But as I'm going through this research, I find myself, you know, really excited about self-discipline in that process of building it. I've come a long way in that area. I am so, so much more self-disciplined than I used to be. But self-discipline is an area where there's always a little bit of room to grow. So I'm really excited about learning as much as I can about it. I really want to understand it from different perspectives, understand how other people manage it. So if you're willing to fill out this survey, your input would be extremely valuable to me in finishing this project. I will put a link to the form in the description. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful weekend.